We begin tonight with possible Katrina killings, never reported until right now. A new magazine article says a white militia formed in the days after the storm and shot nearly a dozen black people. Good evening, everyone. I'm Camille Whitworth. And I'm Norman Robinson. Let's go straight to WDSU News Channel 6 reporter Gina Swanson, who's on your side with tonight's big local story. Gina. Point is a historic community, but some say what happened in this area in the days after Hurricane Katrina borrowed from a chapter in our nation's history they'd rather not relive. Well, they were celebrating. They used to be right there at the ferry, celebrating every unit on how many people they shot or how many people they killed. Malik Rahim has lived in Algiers Point for more than 30 years. He says right after Katrina, there were men armed with guns riding four wheelers patrolling the streets of Algiers Point. We had a confrontation with them right around this corner here and then again right here in front of my house you know where uh, they were basically saying that that uh, all blacks around here was trying to uh, break in the homes of white women an article in the nation magazine chronicles these events also it was a story on democracy now malik rahim says it's taken three years for this story to get any attention i mean it's so sad that uh that this can't happen you know, and it's, it would make it even sadder that it took three and a half years for the news media, all right, for the news media to even uh, pick it up here. On your side, Gina Swanson, WDSU, News Channel 6. And we spoke to other people in the neighborhood, black and white, who didn't want to go on camera but confirmed those stories. We also spoke to the New Orleans Police Department, who said we absolutely have had no complaints to substantiate any of the claims in that article. 